Brewster News Hour. I'm Connor and this is Tom. First, we're going to be starting with a school news with John Muldoon in Tanzanitas. Thank you, Tom and Connor. Hi, I'm Tanzanitas and this is John Muldoon. In today's news, we have the popular high school conference Lights, Camera, Action. This conference will be held at Millis High School on March 15, 2006. This conference is to bring together students who are interested in television productions and in the study of it, and they are to work with industry professors to further their studies and their knowledge of television. Um, in other news, the girls varsity basketball team beat Westwood on Monday night of January 9th, 57 to 53. This was their first time that they had beaten Westwood in 33 years. Congratulations, girls. And now to John. Millis High School Winter Semi will be taking place on January 21st at the Medway VFW from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale until Friday the 20th for $10. And the midterms for the high school will be starting from on the 24th of this month going on to the 27th of this month. So good luck to everybody who will be taking those exams. Back to Connor and Tom. Thank you, uh, John and Ted. Now we're going to go to an interview with an athlete with uh, Chris Kozlaikin. And this is Chris Kozlaikin, and we're here today to do a sports interview. Chris Kozlaikin played for the Millis Mohawks for four years of his high school career. Chris, what is your favorite position in football? Um, my favorite position would be uh, linebacker, because I've played that, and uh, found it's the most, the, fun, the most fun position to play. I also like running back because it's always been my dream to carry the ball. Thank you. Um, what key players are the Millis Mohawks losing this year? Um, I'd have to say every senior is a key player, and we're losing uh, nine seniors, and uh, we're losing Wiley, Connor, Ted, uh, me, Wally, Half, Jared, Mantanz, and Paul. And uh, every one of them each brought like some to the table, so they're all pretty important. Sounds like a pretty big lineup that's being lost. Yeah. Um, how did the Millis Mohawks go this year in this season? Uh, we started out pretty good with a win, but then uh, kind of went on a big losing streak. We ended up being like two and eight. So was the second part. Yeah. Um, senior year sucks. Yeah. Why did you play football, and how did you get started playing? I don't really remember how I got started, but I always liked football. Like when I was a young kid, um, for Halloween, I dressed up as like a mini raider. I had like the whole outfit, like the uniform and stuff. So I always loved football, and then I finally played. It was pretty fun. I played ever since seventh grade. It's a long time. Yeah. Um, well, this question will be: How many years in total did you play? Did you skip any years? Did you? Miss a whole year due to uh, injury or something? Um, no, I played every year, but uh, during my sophomore year, I got injured and I was out for most of the season. But I played since seventh grade, like I said. No, what kind of injury did you um, incur during your sophomore year of football? Uh, I tore my ACL. Quite the injury. Yeah. Must have hurt a lot. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy the four years that you played at Millis High School? Yeah, it's been like the best, like for high school, I think playing football has been the funnest thing throughout high school because you get to know the people really well and you make good friends and stuff. Now, considering Millis' history and the fact that the last good year Millis had was your freshman year, would you have give, would you have rather played on another school's team that probably had gone to a Super Bowl or something? Uh, no, because I, I mean, I'd like to win some games, but... I mean, playing with these guys since like seventh grade, you make a, you get a, like a really tight bond with them. So they're like brothers. So you get to like really know them, and you wouldn't want to play for any other team. Who is your favorite pro, pro football player? Uh, Rodney Harrison, because he like, um, he like brought uh, intimidation to the Patriots' safety, and like. Now, like, these out, everyone, like, throws on the Patriots because they don't have, like, any intimidation. They got to regain that. 
somehow by getting somebody else to do. Well, that's all the questions we have for today for Chris Kazalego. Thank you, Chris, for coming on to the show. Thank you, Tim. Have a good day. That looked like a really interesting athlete. Now we'll go to this I Believe essay with Madison Estrangelo. I'm Madison Mastrangelo, and I'm going to be reading my This I Believe speech. If I lie upside down with my camera and take a picture, I've just changed the way I see the world in that very second. Nothing looks normal, and I am far from reality. I have just created a piece of art, and now it has suddenly changed the way I view the atmosphere around me. I believe that art changes everything, and through art, I can see anything and everything in a different light. When I create art, I am enchanted by my surroundings. I can turn something real into something totally imaginable. I feel that art does not have a reason or a purpose or near, nor need to critique. To me, it is only important to think about and go beyond the human eye. I think that people see in black and white too often, and if they just open their eyes for that one moment, perhaps they would understand how art does exactly change everything. If I take an object like a flower and hold it four inches from my nose, I don't see a flower anymore. I see its essence and every small detail throughout it. This is why I feel it's art. When a perspective is altered and when an object has a new meaning and a new story. I think that I could take anything and make it into art. It's all about technique, composition, and style. To me, the most lifeless, boring objects can be turned into something extraordinary by a painting, drawing, or even a photograph. I believe that art changes and enforces communication. I think artwork is a silent expression that is loud when someone listens closely. What is marveling to me is how as how so many meanings and lessons and voices can be understood through any type of art. Since I am a visual learner, art is my greatest teacher. It changes many of my beliefs and has introduced me to new beliefs. I think that the reason why I'm so passionate for art is because of its ability to transform anything. Art gives something a new perspective, good and bad. Through art, I can transport myself to another place and create absolutely anything I want. I am able to see the world in a whole new way, and for this I am very fortunate. There is more to everything than what meets the eye, and then when I open mine, I see total masterpieces. I believe art changes everything. To me, the world is a moving, breathing source of inspiration just waiting to be used. Thank you very much. Wow, that really made me believe. Now we're going to an artistic demonstration with Maddie. Allie. Allie.
freak away. I don't know. I don't even know. She's just drawing over it in black. <sighs> what do I do if I want to start over? Just keep doing me. Don't put my stuff in it. That's all I can do. Wow, those are beautiful drawings. Now we'll go to a music performance by the Sam Kelly. Uh, my name's Sam Kelly. I'm here to play the guitar. And uh, thank you very much for having me on the show. First song is a uh, quick combination of a bunch of blues things to put together. It's kind of random and improv. Next song is a uh, cover by a band called Dispatch. Song it's called Carry You.
pretty emotional there. Now we're going to go to an interview with College Plans with Matty. Thank you, Tom and Connor, for having us. Um, I'm here with Maddie Mastrangelo. Hello. Hello. Um, and I'm just going to ask her a few questions about college and her plans for the future. All right, well, Maddie. What top three colleges are you interested in right now? I'm interested in Savannah College of Art and Design, Rhode Island School of Design, and Mass Art. Okay. Um, what type of art are you planning to study? I'm planning to study um, communication design. <clears throat> it's um, like involves animation and storyboard artists and stuff like that. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. So maybe you could do animation for like movies or... Right. Oh, that would be cool. Right. Okay. Um, what do art schools look for in an application and a portfolio? Um, they look for um, still life drawings. They look for um, just um, what your really like your strong points mm -hmm. are. What you, like, if you're good at painting, then they want to see you um, more of like what you like your painting uh, and um, they want to see just um, uh, like, like I said, still life mm -hmm. and self portraits and um, something that really displays your skills. right. Okay. Right. Yes. Well, that makes sense. Uh, what are the pros and cons for attending an art school rather than a liberal arts college? Um, the only thing with attending an art school is that everyone, you know, obviously is interested in art. So there really isn't. There's diversity, but there's not diversity in like the fields of like where I'm going to be attending school. Mm -hmm. And also some of the colleges that I applied to, they don't offer sports or anything. So it's um, but Savannah does. So that's one good thing about going if I go there. But would you play a sport? Um. I feel like play soccer. Mm. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, what are your plans for after college? After college, um, I really want to get into um, like the movie making business. Animation. And ho yes. Hopefully Pixar animation in uh, California. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, do any of the art colleges stand out more than another to you? Um, I think like I said I think Savannah does in Georgia because just because they offer um, they have sports and there's just a lot more going on like outside and inside the campus. So, and um, but then Boston would be fun in Mass Art too. So it's kind of like I'll find a place. So. Would you be kind of scared to go that far away? Yeah, um, I was thinking of going to California, but then I like it was way too far away. So um, yeah, we'll see. Georgia does have a lot to offer. So hmm. yeah, well yeah. Um, what are your expectations for going to an art school? Um, I just think a lot of really different people and not people and like like people are. In, Mm -hmm. um, just it's really hard because there's only like two or three girls in our in our class that really enjoy art and are interested in art. This is true. Right. <laughs> well, so yeah. Well, that sounds good. That's right. about it. Um, well, good luck with everything, Maddie. Well, and thank you. Oh, thanks for coming. Thank you, Allison. And that was a lovely interview with Maddie Mastrangelo. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for having us, and back to you, Tom and Connor. We'd like to thank all our special guests today. And we'd like to thank our sponsor, Punky Brewster. This has been a Hogan Waters experience. Thanks a lot. Clap your hands, everybody. And everybody just clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. And everybody just clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. And everybody. Productions and have them learn from industrial, um, industri industrial profess professionals. <laughs> In other school news, the girls' varsity best lights, camera, and the sun. Shove it, shove it! Let's go, don't quit! <laughs> Yay! Hello, and thanks. Scooby-Doo, up, boo, bam!